This tutorial will show you how to register for classes. To register for classes, click on the Student tab. Find the Registration Tools box on the right-hand side of the page. Click on Add or Drop Classes. On this page, you will select the semester you are registering for in the scroll-down box. Once highlighted, click Submit. At the bottom of the Add Drop page, you may enter the course reference number known as the CRN for the course you want to register for. The CRN can be found in the Paper Schedule book or through the Class Search option below. If you do not have the CRN, click on Class Search. On this page, you will enter the search criteria of the class you would like. You are able to be as specific or as general as you would like. The only thing required is the subject field. Let's use English 1010 as an example. We recommend you have the subject, course number, and campus ready. We suggest you do not enter the title of the class or the days and times in order to see all of your options available. Now click Class Search on the bottom of the page. This will pull up a list of classes you are able to choose from. Each search will show the CRN, the course abbreviation, the course number, the section number, the campus the class is being taught at, how many credit hours the class is, and the title of the class. Let's review the rest of the codes. The days of the week are listed as M for Monday, T for Tuesday, W for Wednesday, R for Thursday, F for Friday, and S for Saturday. Classes are taught on all the days listed. For example, a class taught on TR is taught on Tuesday and Thursday. CAP stands for capacity, or how many seats are allowed in the class. ACT is the actual number of students registered for the class. REM means remaining seats or how many seats are still available in the class. This column shows the instructor for the course. The start and end dates of the class are found here. This is the room number where the class will be taught. And this shows the method the course will be taught. Lecture means you will attend the class on campus. Internet lecture means the course will be completed online. Concurrent classes are for high school students only. To register for one of these courses, simply check the open box in the very left column. If a box is not available, then you will not be able to add that class. If a C is listed, then the class is full and has been closed. Once you've checked the box, make sure you scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on Register. The Add Drop page will come up again. If you scroll to the bottom, you will see one of two things. The screen will show the class you are registered for under Current Schedule. This will let you know you were successful in adding the course. Otherwise, it will show a registration error directly below, indicating why the course could not be added. If you need to drop a class, you can do so on this page. Use the action box and highlight Drop, then click Submit Changes. Be aware of the Add Drop dates so you don't miss any deadlines. Refer to the academic calendar online for these dates. This concludes the registration portion of orientation. Good luck and refer back to this section as much as needed. Now that you've registered, you can visit our tuition and financial aid links.